Hello everybody! Remember that portal mapping and modding fizzlerless contest that we played an entry to a while ago? Well this, this map, this map is the winner of that contest. This is Eclipse, created by Steamstream. So a very big thank you to Steamstream. And for the purists among you, you may well have noticed that yes, it's a classic starred portal map. I thought, you know what, we haven't played one of them in a while. Let's go hammerless for a bit, although... Aren't you a slidey thing? You've got a track, therefore you're a slidey thing. You have a button activated by that track, right? Or a button that activates that track? Yes, you are in fact a slidey thing. Slidey things are not entirely purist, are they? Aren't you a B-mod gimmick? I think you're a B-mod gimmick. Uh, anyway, slidey thing. They don't allow portals upon their sliding panels unless the panels are in their end positions. Yep, that would make perfect sense. Uh, we've been delivered a reflection cube with aiming reticle attachment. Exit up there already open. You'll notice it has a fizzler. However, that's the end one. So apparently that didn't count for the contest. Uh, laser up there makes sense with the laser reflection cube. Button that I walked entirely past. That's fine. It's a life preserver, meaning that's the you gone done fucked up button. We'll try and avoid needing that. And elevator here. Also elevator there. And that is literally it, because everything else appears to be entirely behind glass. Right, so first thoughts, one of those minimalist kind of puzzles. Which means it's probably going to be a lot harder than I was hoping to play right now. Okay, that's fine. Um, Right, so... This is going to be classic, classic -y portal logic kind of thing, right? Where do we even begin? Obviously, moving panels are very, very important. Seems to be the focus of this map. As it slowly grinds over. Where do you line up? You line up with this light, which does not at all line up with the panel there. Interesting. And there is a piece of mesh here, meaning you're completely useless to me whilst in that position. And that is literally everything, isn't it? There is a panel on the ceiling over there and a panel in that room there, which is completely inaccessible till we get above. Also a panel there. That panel, however, does line up with doing what this panel could be doing when this panel is doing things that it could be doing over here. Mainly you, right? You could have a laser through you here or from back there when that's out the way. Can I even get to that laser? Uh, just about, if we risk the edge by the deadly deadly goo, you could have you, and you could have you. Weirdly way too high, is that because I'm so down low? We have you like, yeah, that sounds like much better replacement. So yeah, that does that, which would give us the elevator to get up above. However, not much use, also absolutely nowhere to move that from. Yes, so here is the puzzle, right? We found it already. Um, cube dropper doesn't line up anywhere with you to drop a cube upon the button to move things. Yeah, so this is like old-fashioned portal science, right? Uh, well, I guess technically not that old. We've got a quantum tunneling device. It's not so old that we're going to be torturing any sort of animals in the name of discovering a theory as they tended to used to do. I mean, by today's standards, locking a cat in the box would be like stuffing an owl full of polos to try and prove aerodynamics. Um, okay, so I'm stumped already. Uh, you've got to be able to obviously move out of the way there to get the elevators back so that we can ride up. And you are both elevators. So you having a laser and then simultaneously not having a laser is going to be very, very important at some point. What can I even do? If you come over here and you sit on the button and you don't do anything... Hold on. Now you don't line up with that panel either, so you couldn't even do anything from here. But if we just do you for the sake of your weight on there for now, we also don't really have anywhere else to go, although you're, like, usable now. But, you know, glass. Glass is obviously going to be a problem in this one. Um... Is that glass from up there as well, from back here? Yes, that would also appear to be glass, so... I could go up there if the laser doesn't burn. Well, technically, the laser burning us has never stopped us before. Do you burn? No, you don't burn. Okay, so that lets me get up to... 
Okay, it's doing that weird thing where Shell won't pick up her feet. Uh, that lets us get up to here, where there is mesh. Mesh that stops us getting anywhere else at all. I mean, it does let us reposition to over there. Like, you could put the blue on that one. That does the laser through the mesh thing that will get blocked by the panel that we are talking about. So that's got to be a thing. Um, in that case, let's put you... Ah, as soon as you come off of there, though, you move, right? So can I get you there, then run back here in time? Yes, yes, I can. That gets us up to here. Then I suppose you could go ahead and do blue there and get it back down. But then it's kind of the same problem again, right? Because there's nowhere to move anything to. Yeah, it's one of those minimalist puzzles with not a great deal going on in here. But something... Something clever is hidden in here. And it may well take me a usually long time to figure it out. Hello, why do you twitch? Okay, we'll ignore that. Um, so what's the point of coming up here other than the fact that it's a bit closer to the exit? Uh, diving board base style protrusion. Panels directly above that, so that's probably for getting back up here. So why would I even want to go down into here? That doesn't seem all that useful, although you have a panel, but this panel doesn't like line up with anything at all, does it? You couldn't leave the cube sat on the button unless... slight degrees of laser-based anglement? Maybe. Um, you can't put a portal on a moving panel, so it's not a case of laser coming into position. So why do I want to... Come down in here. If we put the blue on you now. I said put the blue on you now. Everything goes back up. Kind of useless because we have to use portals to get out of here. Although technically lasers don't burn, right? So can go up to this kind of area. Which would let you get back to the main scientific area. But that is it. Um... Yeah, this is going to be one of those puzzles that takes me forever to work out, isn't it? Uh, something about minimalist puzzles, I really struggle with them. So what's the point of being able to come back? You could come back leaving a laser in there. You could reposition you to come sit like back this way and still do all of that stuff. But then nothing really... Does anything? You can't suddenly go boom and have a laser from there because, well, you're moving and that's not how science works. Because, well, that particular cheat is not enabled anyway. Um, there's got to be the laser getting switched about somehow. Which I can only really do by moving it to there or not. Okay, uh... I mean, there has to be a reason that you can come in here and put the laser in here. Otherwise, this entire space would probably not exist. So I can get back and I can come back to the middle bit. I can put you all the way back over here. I can't go back into there now from down here because mesh. Um, is there any chance that I could, like, really quickly do this nope goes away straight away um so the only thing that felt like any sort of progress was the laser coming from behind there let's do that again let's stick you over on this button here uh head back up to the bit where we can reposition the laser onto you so you get a portal and you also get a portal. Hold on. While you're here, do you do anything? Like, I couldn't have you... No, because you're going to move as soon as that comes off of there, so... It doesn't really help either. Obviously, though, this, this moving... That's the gimmick, right? There's a whole lot going on in here based around that. And again, that thing where Shell won't pick her feet up on the first attempt at getting through the wall. So, let's do... Uh, orange on you. 
this was the closest to progress, right? Was having you come over here like that. Then we quickly run over here and elevate up because you block that. But you blocking that doesn't help at this point. We'd need to like... There's that, but that is no good because there's nothing to move it back off of there. Nowhere else to put the portal to move it. Right, um... Okay, we need to find this map's aha moment. Any, any ideas? <laughs> um, what actual options do we even have? So, diving board protrusion, nothing else to you, like, you don't move or anything. Uh, we've got an angle of laser directly across. So you could have the cube sat there and do the laser receptor. I could have the cube sat there, do the receptor. Grab the cube. That would get me up, and then I'd have the cube up there. Then fling the cube, hoping it lands in the perfect... Nope, never mind. Um... This music's rather sleepy time as well, and that's honestly not helping me a great deal at the moment. Uh, it does remind me, though, that this is, uh, I believe, track 11 by Mike Astro. So, yeah, another map using Mike Astro's wonderful science-y compositions. They do always really, really suit this game, don't they? It's as if he made them for them. Um, why can I come in here? You're very close to the button and the elevator, right? So maybe I do manually move the cube. What would be good would be manually moving this cube. We do have the aiming reticle thing off of the uh, laser reflection cube. Reflection, refraction, same thing. Laser refraction cube. So you could do like here. Yep, yeah, like here. I could be like here and snatch. Well, a little bit closer and snatch. Which technically means I could probably do that from the elevator too, right? So you on there. And manual cube snatch. And we can bring the cube up here. Doesn't help, does it? No. Um, there's no way I can, like, lob that down and just hope that it gets in the right place. Uh, aiming reticle thing, though. So, aiming angles and shit. Um, so the laser's coming through you. That's just a right angle. That's not angles. What's well, technically an angle? It's not a fancy one, so probably not much use. Too high from you on the back rail. No, that would be kind of stupid. But in there, what good would be angling from in there? And can I even get you in there? How do I? even get in there now um go up there cube wait here cube come with you know what there's a you gone done fucked up button so it doesn't really matter let's take the cube with us down into here uh let's take it up to this higher kind of bit of here so what would be the point of being able to get the cube you know what probably should have checked in here first Probably didn't need to bother because it's very clearly not an angle to do anything from in here. But there is from, like, the other side of the glassed off bit, right? In there. Uh, so if we put the orange on you, we can take the cube into here. So from in here, you totally could do you. Decorative light or hint hint light? It's kind of a portal, clever puzzle-making, map-making person's kind of thing, right? Lights for hints, so... You line up with all the way over there. And you totally do let us do there. So if I have both of those, well... I can go back up now. 
I can go back up to the higher bit. If we come up to this level, drop back down to this level. Uh, stand on the elevator, moving the orange to you. Let's just get back up here. From up here... We could go back down into that side, get the laser across. Does line up with maybe the hint hint light. But I can't get back across because I've moved my portal out of there. Was I supposed to have moved the other portal? Moving the other portal would have made so much more sense. Um, let's do that then. Let's uh, put the orange on this panel here, get back up to there, get back into the other side. Uh, orange on you. Don't technically have to go back in there, do we? We can do. We can go straight back down to here. So move the blue instead, but then I don't have any lasers. Uh, let's try it though. Let's do blue on you. And if we do the blue on the panel down this side, we could go reposition that cube. Line up with the potential hint hint light. I mean, that's like 45 degrees, right? 45 degrees is typically generally accepted angle of laser science in this game. Especially when it comes to leaving a cube somewhere. Uh, so there. And then if we move the orange to you. That kind of works, because when we stand on that button, you're going to slide and actually block that, meaning the elevator comes down, and then as soon as I shift off of that button... You're going to go back, but then you don't, like, block it again? Because that's your final resting place. It's something to do with that, though, right? That's the whole point of you sliding, is... First to be awkward, and then to do some blocking, so... How do I get out of here now? Um... Move the orange back to you. You go back up. Leave the blue there because we definitely need it. That's what you're for then is to get back up to the higher level and get back out of this bit. Landing on top of the diving board. Uh, then we'd... No, because that's the one I need the laser to come out of, right? So we put orange up on top of you. Yeah. Right, and then my immense girth stands upon here. Just let's go with wait. I should probably stop saying girth. Uh, you go there. So then, if I quickly run over here, you you'll lift me, yeah, because that blocks that extremely quickly. Do I just have to get my ass off of here that much quicker? Uh, let's do this button again. Yeah, that makes sense, right? Let's get onto here. Then off of here really quickly. You come down, you don't go back up. But you could now go back up because I can reposition literally anybody. Yeah, okay, cool. Um, That, satisfyingly minimalistic and very, very clever. Technically, that was like the classic, classic portal, not cube swap, but laser position switch kind of deal. But an interesting take on it because uh, technically you had a moving panel do the... Do the switching for you. Yeah, I like that. Um, I can see why that won the fizzler -less contest. Uh, that was a nice little puzzle. That was Eclipse created by Steamstream. So a very big thank you to Steamstream for that one. Technically, technically still does involve a fizzler. But if I understand correctly, this one doesn't count because it's on the exit and it's technically there just to keep you from nicking stuff. Thank you very much for watching. Catch you later.